Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the home stretch, the final 26 hours of this Support and Save Thor News fundraiser, where every single month I raise my rent by doing a fundraiser. It's crazy, but it's like a built-in cliffhanger. Will I survive or will I die? My life is in your hands. If you want to keep Thor News around, you can make a contribution or donation to my PayPal link. Now let's get to the fun science. We're talking about wacky, bizarre white dwarves, and that is exciting. This was 22 of the February by Matt Williams. All right, we have the oldest and coldest white dwarf ever found, and it has bizarre dust rings about it, around it. I don't know if you know this, but our universe is a mysterious and magical place, and no one can explain everything, although everybody likes to try. When stars, like our sun, exhaust their hydrogen fuel, they enter what is known as their red giant branch phase. Because remember, a star is just like a big light bulb, and it's filled with fuel, and then it burns out at a scheduled rate, just like a light bulb, and then it, just like a light bulb, it turns into a red giant branch phase. This is characterized by the star expanding to several times its original size, because, like most things, they get bigger as they get older. This is characterized by the star expanding several times its original size, after which they shed their outer layers, kind of like a snake, <clears throat> and then become white, compact dwarfs, just like as humans get older. When we get into like our 90s, we get smaller. So stars are just like people. That is amazing. Over the next few billion years, it is believed that these stars will slowly consume any objects and dust rings still close enough to be influenced by their gravity. And you know, it's kind of like, um, people and chocolate. Okay, that joke went south. I apologize. However, a citizen scientist named Melina Thivenot recently made a surprising discovery when observing a white dwarf system based on data from the wild the Wild Wide Field Observatory Infrared Survey Explorer, or the WISE mission, Amy Mainzer. <sighs> this star has been a white dwarf for billions of years, but it still has multiple rings of dust around it. I wonder if it's PCP, because I don't know if you know this, some planets are drug addicts, but this is a star. They usually clean up their act. Known as Ladies singing perfect melodies j o two o seven plus three 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 one or j o two o seven this discovery could force researchers to reconsider models of planetary systems again the discovery was made through back worlds backyard worlds planet nine a project led by mark kushner an astrophysicist at nasa's goddard space flight center that relies on volunteers to sort through wise data for new discoveries. Located around 145 light years away in the constellation Capricornus, astronomers suspect that J0207 might be the first known example of a white dwarf with multiple dust rings and the oldest. So it's kind of like a star. It's like Saturn. If you like it and you want it, put a ring on it. Okay, the discovery was also the subject of a recent study published in the Astrophysical Journal. A 3GYR white dwarf with warm dust discovered via the Backyard World's Planet 9 Citizen Science Project. Why does astronomy always have to be so sexual? As John DeBez, an astronomer at the Space Telescope Science Institute, said in Baltimore, and he's the lead author on this paper, and he revealed a NASA press release. This white dwarf is so old that whatever process is feeding material into its rings must operate on a billion year time scales. That is crazy. Most of the models scientists have created to explain rings around the white dwarf only work well up to about a hundred million years. So this star is really challenging our assumptions of how planetary systems evolve. Yeah, we don't know much about stars. We don't know much about the sun. 
We don't know much about planets. But everybody likes to act like they know everything. You know how much um, that rock in your garden, you know how old it is? It's like 12 years old. <laughs> that was dumb, dude. Okay, it's early in the morning. My sense of humor has been gone because I've been under stress and things have been crazy. The star was detected by NASA's wide mission, wise Amy Mainzer, which picked up a strong infrared signal suggesting the presence of dust. You know, times, speaking in this dusty article, I've been accused of being thirsty. Maybe I'm only acting thirsty to keep the ladies away. Because a lot of times, women cause me more problems than anything I've ever known. But it's my fault. I take the blame for everything. Based on the rate at which white dwarf stars cool over time, Deva's team calculated from its surface temperatures just over 5,800 Celsius. Or, that's 10,500 degrees Fahrenheit for you punks. I mean, which one are we? America's the F. And Europe is the C. Okay, J0207 has been in its white dwarf phase for about 3 billion years. Well, lucky it. <clears throat> These new findings contradict what astronomers have suspected for some time about the evolution of star systems. What does that even mean, man? It's like, they're little, and then they grow big, and then they grow, they grow little. That seems oversimplified. What do I know? In the past, astronomers have observed how planets and asteroids that survive a star's RGB phase will move farther away after it enters its white dwarf phase. This is due to the star having lost much of its mass and therefore its gravitational influence on surrounding objects. How will the world end by Fraser Crane? <clears throat> I'll have to check that out. Maybe Fraser's become a psychic. Astronomers anticipate that this is what will happen to our solar system in about five years. Five billion years. Did I just say five years? Freudian slip. After expanding to encompass Venus, Mercury, and Earth, so you can kind of imagine uh, stars like fiat currencies. Eventually, they just explode in size. Our sun will lose its outer layers and become a white dwarf. Science knows everything, dude. I've always wondered, how come they don't put together, like, the beginning and end process of these stars from all the pictures they've taken of stars in different phases over their lifespan? Which is called the main sequence, by the way. At this point, the remaining planets and objects, which will likely include the main asteroid belt, the gas giants, and the Kuiper belt, will all drift outwards. Yep, I saw an article that said, when the sun ex explodes, uh, life on the planets may die. I was like, that's a bold statement, buddy. However, in 1 to 4% of the cases, white dwarfs have shown infrared emissions that indicate that they are surrounded by dust disks or rings. Scientists theorize that this may be the result of asteroids and comets being kicked from their belts through gra gravitational interaction with displaced planets and sent towards the star. What? As these bodies approach the white dwarf, I'm having like Snow White flashbacks, and they're kind of creepy. They're definitely creepier than I remembered. Maybe I should just get on with the science. They're torn apart by tidal disruption caused by the star's strong gravity in the Roche limit. That's that thing that makes lovers either come together as one or tear each other apart like a weird sci-fi film. The resulting debris would then form a dusty ring that slowly falls inward and is accredited on the surface of the star. However, in all previous cases, dust rings, dust disks and rings have only been observed around white dwarfs that were about one billion years old. So I guess the older you get, the dustier you get. Yep, humans and stars have a lot in common. This seemed consistent with the notion that older white dwarfs had effectively depleted their supply of asteroids and the resulting rank dust rings. The latest discovery effectively makes J0207 the oldest and coldest white dwarf with dust ever observed. When she first noticed J0207's infrared signals, Melina TV Not thought it was bad data. Man, that's what I think all the time. At the time, she had been searching 
through the European Space Agency's GAIA mission. Archives for brown dwarfs, which are barely detectable beyond their infrared emissions, but oh so sexy when you can find them. After consulting Wise's infrared data, she realized that it was too bright and distant to be a brown dwarf. Thevnot relayed these findings to the Backyard World's Planet 9 team, which then obtained follow-up observations from the W.M. Keck Observatory in Hawaii, and Thevnot explained that it is a really motivating aspect of the search. The researchers will move their telescopes to look at worlds you have discovered. What I especially enjoy, though, is the interaction with the awesome research team. I kind of like Snow White and Sam Dwarfs. Everyone is very kind, and they're always trying to make the best of our discoveries. Must be why people like dwarves so much. They're tough, they're e easy to work with, and they don't worry about credit or ego, they just get shit done. Maybe that's why ladies love them. What's more, Debes and his colleagues suspect that J0207 may even have a system of rings, like the Lord of the Rings. There were dwarves in that too. Man, it's like anytime you find magic rings, it can't be explained. There are dwarves there protecting it, researching it, and discovering it. That is good to know. The universe has consistencies within it. They suggest in their study that this would consist of two distinct components, a thin outer ring where the white dwarf's gravity breaks up the asteroids, and a wider ring closer to the star. These new observations are likely to force astronomers to reconsider their models for how planetary systems evolve. <clears throat> we built Backyard Worlds Planet 9 mostly to search for brown dwarfs and new planets in the solar system. Kutcher said, but working with citizen scientists always leads to surprises. They are voracious. The project has celebrated its second birthday, and they've already discovered more than 1,000 likely brown dwarfs. Now that we've rebooted the website with double the amount of wise data, we're looking forward to even more exciting discoveries. In addition to forcing a rethink of how planetary systems evolve over time, this research could provide clues about the future of our own solar system. Once our sun, sun becomes a white dwarf, Asterix, who knows what it's going to do, dude, the sun is like a phoenix egg, is likely to spend the next few billion years consuming asteroids and Kuiper Belt objects. You know, like snacks. that are kicked out of their belts, belts and rings, baby, by surviving gas giants. According to this latest study, <clears throat> it could also have a ring of dust around several billion years later. And while this discovery was a boon, did you know if you spell boon backwards, it's noob? <laughs> All right. For astronomers, it also demonstrates what is possible thanks to collaborations between scientific organizations and citizen scientists. In the age of exoplanet research and advanced astronomy, the sheer volume of data makes such collaborations not only necessary, but highly lucrative. All right. We've learned that our solar system is a strange and wild place, kind of like Thor News. So, if you appreciate all the awesomeness I've done over the last six years, or the last year, or the last month, or the last week, be sure and head on over to my PayPal link and make a donation, contribution, to keep my independent journalism totally up and totally running. So I do the best I can every single month, and pretty much all I do is work to bring you guys good information in a humorous and entertaining way. And I want to thank everybody who has contributed so far. I want to let you know that every single dollar helps, whether it's a $2 contribution, $5 contribution, $10 contribution. It is greatly appreciated. And so, uh, I think I got 11 contributions yesterday, ranging from $5 to $25. So, I'm going to be pumping out the videos today. And I want to say thank you to everybody. And I will hang in there and... It's going to be like a machine gun of videos. I hope you're ready for it. Stay cool. God bless everyone.